Hello, hello. I only know songs in D minor. <laughs> that was a very sinister opening. It was a little sinister. I like the minors, you know? You do. You love D minor for, for some I, reason. D minor's my jam. That's the hello, only key you can jam it. Thronelys, hello. Hi, everybody. Dears, welcome to the channel. I am Richard. This is Johnny, in case you are new here. We already have... You guys, they're already giving us... We already have some super thanks. We didn't even oh, start man. yet. We have... We've got... Uh, Our reputation Lori. precedes us. Thank you, thank you. We have Joy. Thank you. And I thought I saw another one. It's... Well, this one's hard to say. Oh, and, but we see uh, her a lot. It's the... It's X-E-R... Zeru M. Zeru M. The tissues at the concert... Primitive... <laughs> I am just, I'm just universally known as the baby of the Throga channel. We gotta you buy are Richard the resident tissues. emotional basket case. <laughs> Do you know, we had um, someone earlier, oh, who was it, on uh, at the Buy Me a Coffee page, uh, Chris, are you here, Chris? Who just became a gold thronely. Thank you for joining our gold membership. And there's just, I just want to take one little segment of her very kind words, you know, talking about our, our professionalism, how knowledgeable we are, how genuine we are, um, how considerate we are of other, uh, oh. you know, just with those, you know, speaking um, from other languages, you know, and their accents, things like that. Uh, just really nice and everything. And this is my favorite quote. And I want to use this on our website. It ends with, and sometimes side spit side splittedly unprofessional. <laughs> Us? No. <laughs> I think I feel like that should be right on the on our buy me a coffee page, just in quotes from Chris. Side splittedly unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the that, best summary ever. <laughs> that is us to a T. It is. Um, oh wow, Becky, thank you so much. Oh, Becky thank Nicholas. you guys. Thank you, Lynn. Oh, uh, DS oh, five VR. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm gonna Man, tell you guys, guys are we, showing up, we showing up and showing out. We haven't tried a six o'clock reaction before. We were like, ah, most of the deers and most of our, at least our typical subscribers are probably asleep, and you know maybe they'll catch it in the morning. So we weren't sure if we were gonna have anyone here, honestly. <laughs> so this is, awesome. Are, this is awesome. Thank you. This is so cool. Well, it is. Uh, all right. It's like really late for a lot of. Yeah, it seems later. I'm sure it looks really late where I'm coming from. It's just my lighting sucks. We're 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 working on fixing my or upgrading my lighting system. We were so just think... discussing. We need to use some of these super thanks and coffees you're buying us to get uh, Johnny a little better rig here, so he gets a little some pro lighting going on. It goes with the ominous intro, though. I'm, I'm very <laughs> mysterious and sh shadow <laughs> for sure. For sure. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, I, I just want to address something right from the top. Uh, we were kind of told secondhand there's there's a little bit of a controversy, which we don't like to be part of. We don't want controversy. We just want love. Um, but a little concern about reacting to, I guess, any song, um, like right away, like the day of. We've never reacted to a song on the same day it was released. I think mm -hmm. it's released like hours ago, like six hours, 10, 12 hours ago, something like that at this point. Um, just to be clear, and oh, thank you, Chris, if that's the Chris, thank you again. Um, just to be clear on a couple things. So so one is anything we play off of Dimash's website, uh, so you know off of his channel, is completely credited to and monetized by him and his team. So when we play something here, none of it goes to us that's why we really appreciate you super thanks and, and coffees and stuff like that mm -hmm. um so that all goes to him um and the other thing too is if you are new to dimash if you just stumbled into this channel or if you haven't seen the song that we're going to react to that just came out today when i've got you pause us go watch that because the whole point of watching a React video is it's new to us, but it should be a little familiar to you anyway. I think that's really mm -hmm. important. And that way he's yeah. getting his views, his algorithms on YouTube is being 
um, expanded upon. That's super important. We are here to support the artists that we love and we discover as well. We're 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 react. We're literally secondary. We are reacting to their art, <laughs> so they need to be on the pedestal. And want to make sure, with all respect, that that is uh, first and foremost. So go watch theirs. You know, Dimash in this case, but anytime we react to something, always check out their video. The link is in the description below as well, so that's there for you guys. Um, and what else? I feel like there was something else to address. Um, what other technical thing do we need to fill them in on, Johnny? Oh, to like and subscribe? <laughs> That wasn't what I was saying, but I like where your head's at. Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have is. one line, so it's like... <laughs> That's, that's and right. ring the bell or gong and if ring you the have bell, it. please <laughs> as always as always and also be sure to check out the link below in the description where you can buy us a coffee three or five and you can also become a silver gold or diamond thronely member with all sorts of cool perks including um behind the scenes footage and meetings with us monthly, things like that, lots of cool stuff. And we have some new things coming to the shop, including we have a mug coming very soon. And check out throwga.com, which you can get a free vocal assessment to learn more about your voice for singing and other cool stuff. It looks like go. we that have some my people commercial. that have watched the, the, the main video at least 20 times, so. Well, yeah, I've watched, watched that more than 50, 50 times. times, and I love it. All right. You go. So we've okay. never reacted to something this quick. Um, and, and, oh, that's the other technical thing I was going to say is I think sometimes uh, there's kind of the belief that the YouTube algorithm works where, and we've seen this on our own channel, like if you wait a few days, oh, Rose, thank you, just bought us five coffees. Is this a new feature now that we can now we can see that? Yes, we've got it set up through, so we can actually see it right through that direct. That's awesome. Yeah. Johnny so. has woken up yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> by by six PM I think I've I've finally He's uh, yeah. just just there. Here's no, I was gonna teeth. say is with the algorithms as well. Um it's it's a matter of hours, not days, right? So like if we put something up, if YouTube catches that a lot of people are there, like you guys are here right now, like this helps us. You being here, leaving a chat, leaving a like, subscribing, comment, all that stuff tells YouTube, oh, this must be good. And then it features it more to get more plays. That's only relevant for the first like two or three hours. And then you're kind of like in this perpetual cycle. If you miss that window, it's it's tough. Um, and that's why I feel good about also that we're reacting for hours, hours after Dimash's as well. And quite frankly, when you watch it on channel, you see 30% transparency. You don't really get to see the music video on top of that. Um, Anyway, I don't want to ramble on that. I just want to make sure that you guys know that we follow all the fair use rules and, and all that. And, you know, we don't mess around with copyright and we always respect to the artist and, and, and all that. All that jazz. So just wanted to throw that out there. Looks like you have a, uh, an especially big fan in Paulina or Alaska. Or Alaska. Where'd you go, Paulina? Scroll, scroll back a little bit. Wait, I've missed you baldly. <laughs> You don't know she's talking about me. <laughs> you look like you're crazy and you are both incredible. All right. Well, it, it's actually Igor's handsome. a mix. He's I've got his hair and Johnny's got the piano skills. So we're <laughs> if you combine us, <laughs> we can uh, we can, we equal one Igor. <laughs> so, are you super excited to watch this? Because I am super. excited Have to you watch seen this. the cover of this? No. Uh, let me show. You. So I'm going to show this in full. Transparency. Transparency. So you can see it completely. Look at this image. Okay. That's awesome. All right. Okay. He's got, I'm with it. He's got long dark hair. Cool. The whole thing has this like ominous feel. It. This is to me like right away just visually. I'm intrigued because this is like this makes '90s Richard very happy. This is like. Queensryche mixed with Blade, like a vampire feel mixed with, it's got like these, just these cool elements that mm -hmm. I'm all about. Younger Richard uh, would have been all about this. So uh, I am super excited to see what's going to happen here. All right. And it says we will be blown away by his acting skills. Let's do it. All right. All right. Let's do this. Here we go.
<laughs> Seems kind of cool so far. Like the final playing in the background's got a really cool atmosphere going on. Well, oh, that's him singing in the beginning, okay. That's what I'm Uh-oh. Like, I'm not seeing fangs, but he's got, like, this, like, magical command over the air, and, like, he's disappearing and reappearing, and the whole thing is, like, this trance, like, something, like, with her. It feels like a little, um, Bram Stoker's. You, you know what I mean? Like, that style of, like, yeah. what romantic vampire? Yeah. yeah Am I on this? I'm seeing yes. yes. I, but I don't know favorite. if you're saying yes to me. Uh, Song-wise... <laughs> This is so cool. Uh, it's it's the most sort of um, I don't want to say commercial because it's not necessarily like commercial, but it's 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 a I don't know it's it's the most like radio friendly that I've heard. I, um, with still the Dimash flair. That's it's you know. Yeah, well, yeah, it, which is weird, right? Because it's got like some like unexpected, almost like descending melodies or chord changes. Yeah, there's something. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 that part, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just cool. So like it's, you're not expecting that. that but the melody flare, has so. like kind of like it's like it's a melody of what like you might get like from the band Muse, right? It just like has like that kind of like it's a little theatrical, kind of legato connected, but it has a bit of a commercial quality to it. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Oh, thank you, Linda Jones. And. Oh my goodness, you guys, you guys are killing it. Uh, thank you, Angelina, um, for the six coffees. Thank you, my, my Katja. Why am I saying people's names, Johnny? You're, we, t we discussed this. You're supposed to say people's names so I don't screw them up. It's because it's really entertaining for me. <laughs> yeah, but, um, it's, but I, yeah, but it's I care just, about it's them. Kind of such a, like, Magdalena like, as well. His, thank you, thank you. His delivery, it's almost... Um, this is this is probably like the weirdest comparison, but there's almost like an Imagine Dragons. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, that's that's not. I don't think that's out of the realm. It's just, yeah, it's just a little bit poppier than uh, which I think is cool as as a, you know, that that's sort of the style that I love writing in. So, and I like that it's dark. Yeah, like it's just dark pop, just dark moody, pop. That's our romantic. That's... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, uh, I want to go back to this. There's a few things okay. that I'm hearing right away. I know we have a long ways to go in the song. Richard, is it possible to uh, reduce the transparency or no? Uh, I yeah, I know because you're probably not seeing as much well, of it, right? Well, a couple of people are saying that too. Oh yes. Uh, first of all, thank you, Ethel. Yes, hundred percent vampire. Um, so if you want to watch the video in its fullness, please go to the link below. I know it's a little annoying. If you've seen the video, you can probably imagine. I know it just came out, so you might have only seen it once. Um, but please go to his page to like to watch it in full. The reason we do it in this type of transparency um, is so we can focus a couple things. One is for, for copyright purposes. 
Um, and so we're allowed to do the music, like they approve of that. If they didn't want us to even play the music, like they would just be like, block, and then we wouldn't even be right. able to do that. So, um, and it's just less risky this way. And the other thing is that just a reminder: if you have seen it before, if you're really, if you, um, if you're new to this, either way, it is a good opportunity to focus on hearing it even though there's an amazing story going on right here, like listen to the layers, listen to the harmonies, try to take this opportunity, even though visually it's not as fun to maybe hear it in a different way that you haven't before. Um, and subtitles, I see that coming up. That will be um, in the, within the next 24 hours. And we found a way how to force subtitles. So if YouTube doesn't generate it by the morning, I got you. It'll be there. Yep. Thank you, Alicia, by the way. Yes, thank you, thank Alicia you. Alicia Chavez Romero. I'm so glad you said that. Thank you. <laughs> Making my way. I love that. Yeah. A little bluesy. It's like a gospel. I love that. Because I'm looking for freedom. There's nothing but chance. Around me, but I won't be broken. Cause I'm gonna fight this time, fight every moment. Not gonna lie, it hurts me. If you can mix blues, R&B, gospel, rock, 90s rock, a touch of pop, all in the same thing, and overlay it with awesomeness. <laughs> overlay it with the, the best singer ever. <laughs> I There's like 50 different, once again, he's defined genres, right? It's just like, yes. oh my so, goodness. Okay, well, uh, Imagine, okay, Christine, when I said Imagine Dragons, I think it, yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know if this is the right reference, but I think it's like the the scoops, like, da da da, you know, and the little I don't think the overall like, song sounds like it. No, yeah. no, it doesn't. Just, yeah, uh, how, how he approached the melody, I agree. Yes. Oh, man, um, you guys rock. Le and uh, thank you. Leonor. Leonor. Yes, and... Um, Somebody else on Buy Me a Coffee went through, uh, I don't know how to say it. We, I love that pre chorus. We sold. Da, 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 but this. What yeah. was this? Let me play this back. Oh, my baby. Come 
There's so much candy in this. Yeah. I got to hear that growl again. So he's doing, uh, what was that? Where was he going there? It's just a man. Just a man in a man's world. He's got, so that's like, it, it's the uh, two folds. So he's like matching those. What, what notes are he, is he on there? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, starts on a B flat, goes to A flat, B below middle C. Wait, where's he going? F. F. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit all the notes until yeah. I find. Them. You'll get one of them, I'm sure. <laughs> this note. <laughs> That's an F, yeah. Da, da, da. But the then he brings in. It's a space just above the larynx. It's called the laryngeal pharynx. It's so they're like cylindrically shaped muscles that can kind of squeeze and they become coarse. So it's, it's partially what distorts the sound. So the larynx lifts up and there's that. And he's just slightly triggering um, the false folds, which are aimed differently. And that gives it like a really, like that kind of growl uh, that you, you'd hear in like more of like the death metal stuff, right? So he's just like scary. just slightly triggering that. So when you combine the two folds, going like this the false folds triggering up like i don't know if i'm giving good imagery going on here but then and then these muscles doing this so we have this this and this all in here it gives you <laughs> combined and he's just he's killing that tone yes he is man when he goes up to that like and then that, yeah sort of <laughs> sebastian oh that sebastian bach kind of uh, like chris cornelli tone mm. Yes, yeah. So that's like a pushed tone, but right before like, that riff, which I got to hear again because I, it's there's too much happening. I have to. But then the next breath, he's got like this crystal clear, ooh, or like overtone. It's just like, yeah, just like so many textures at once. Crazy. Thank you, Joy. Joy, Joy thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna hear this verse again because I'm in charge of the play button. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I hope you guys want to hear it too. Finding my place, just a man in a man's world, making a name. It is in these days, but when I come home to your sweet love, you're my size of heaven. Guitar solo, your dream come true. Oh my god! Yes, a dangerous voice indeed. I agree, Carolina or Carolina. Sorry, I don't mean to ignore the chat, but you know, Dimash was singing. <laughs> you forgive me. <laughs> He, he oh, does make a very goodness. sexy vampire too. I must must say. What was that? He does make a very sexy vampire. Oh, agreed. 
I th- I think they should. His acting is great. Someone mentioned that early on, right? It's just yeah. like his just his conviction. I mean, you see that on stage, but you know what? When you're on stage, acting is different than on film. It, it's sure. it's much more intimate on film versus on stage with the distance of everything. So it's a different feel as a whole. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you, Queen Queen Rosard. Thank you for the coffee. Um, what was I going to say, Johnny? Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say about that. That was insane. God. I, I want. Well, uh, I want to hear it again. All right. So he wrote this song. Did he wrote, wrote it too. You know what? I should have looked at that first. Sorry, Sexy guys. vampire with MJ hair. Yes. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I think um, they should do a remake of Bram Stokers with Dimash. That's what I was going to say. Yes. With without Keanu Reeves this time, right? I love Keanu, but I love him too. A, Not it just. I love that movie. movie, but he was. Yes. I don't know that he was well casted. I'm, I'm going to say that. <laughs> Keanu's Keanu's an awesome guy. All right. Uh, nice guy. All right. Let's hear that part again. So you can post it, but not the lyrics. That's what's right. And you did play with the uh, used it as well. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Yes, you can post it. I have to catch my breath. Yeah. Ready for this insane riff in line again. I know. I'm going to play it from here. Uh, someone did ask about what his range is so far, Johnny. Do you have an idea of what that is? Uh, well, can you put your piano up real quick? Yeah. All right. So do you guys see this whole piano? This is, yeah, they should be Shut able off. to see it. Okay. You want so, the whole view? Yeah. I don't think we, yeah. Sorry. Can you? Dimash view of the okay. piano. <laughs> All right. So do you guys see this piano? So basically, Dimash's range is bigger than that. No. <laughs> No, I would say uh, his lowest note. God, I remember it's it's pretty low. He went to this F here, C two possibly around there. And then the growl really gives overtones to imply lower, but it wasn't that low, like as far as right. the fundamental goes, right? So yeah, right here. but I mean, as far as the the high notes, it's I think that's off the charts, <laughs> right? He's there. Was he? Oh, are you talking about the, his range in this song? In this song specifically. Oh. Okay, I thought you meant his range in general. Oh, no, no, no. In No, that would be up here, and then we'd be going down here. But this song specifically, someone was looking okay. for. Uh, so the highest note is uh, that F5. Right there. Yep. By the way, uh, that is he's done that with a clear tone and with grit. So the, the tonal textures and choices there is crazy. Yeah. I'd have to hear the, the melody for the verse again, but it's... So somewhere around the the, the F uh, F three range. That, so so it's not a, not a not a huge maybe. It's it's a pretty like it's low, tame you know. range for his, but it still sounds like three octaves or four, even when it's not because the intensity, it's the dynamic play within yeah. the notes. No, I'm not I'm not missing the lack of you know the incredible <laughs> no defying, you don't defying miss it when the song's well written. And it's executed with the right tone. If the storytelling is in place, it can mm-hmm. be six or seven notes and still be beautiful and 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 make the point. We've talked about that with a lot of other artists that might not have a range like this because this is exceptional to play with. It's like he's not showing off. He's just like, here's what I wanted, and he's doing it with every texture he's looking for inside of that space. Right. Exactly. What the song calls for, which is what it, what we always harp on. Always, <laughs> twenty octaves. <laughs> All right, uh, let's hear this guitar solo.
Yeah, that's cool. I think kind of hard to read on that. Yeah. Which is why you need to go watch the actual video. The link below mm -hmm. the description. Okay. General producer, that composers Dimash, authors of the song lyrics. We have uh, Candice and Dimitro in the script, and then he co-produced it as well. Man. Yeah, another another banger, as the kids say. I I might have a new favorite if I'm allowed to have those. Yeah, this one is tailor made for you. Like every, it's everything kinda, I know of your taste. Yes, this is th this right is, there. Yeah, so you guys are still learning me as as a like a vocalist style like that. Like I have Broadway theatrical background and metal. I those two things combined, and from 1999 to 2002, I focused on an album that Johnny and I did that was literally written in a vampiric made up language. <laughs> Yes, he made up his own vampiric language. Yes. Yes. Because I was a <laughs> little, little much. Maybe we'll, we'll save that for another day. <laughs> we can play a little bit of that. So it's just like, it just pulls on those like history strings for me personally. That's just like amazing. It's funny because we talked before, like, I don't like scary movies like at all. But vampires like scary are maybe, songs. May, maybe an exception. <laughs> like to maybe some scary songs. Oh God, we have some pictures that we can show at some point. Oh, oh we have pictures. <laughs> um, you know, maybe I'll save them for Reaction Wednesdays. I can kind of prep them a little bit. See, now, now my background, you know, when you look at my background, it's <coughs> Beatles and, every, you know, and everything else. You know, like the Beatles was, I only listened to the Beatles for 10 years and then I've, you know, obviously expanded my horizons, but so I'm. At then the, he met I, me. <laughs> then I met you. Um, so at at the heart, I'm I'm a pop guy. So it's like when I hear a song like this, which is a little bit more geared towards like the commerciality, I, I'm immediately drawn to it. But I also love that he always puts his little demoshisms in the in the composition side of things, where it's that that little riff, which is so unique, and dun, it's like, and, it, and it's yeah. just not standard at all it's, it's like, like chugged like downward in such an interesting way yeah like the the rhythm of it it's like going over you know it's like going over like three bars or something it's it's just keeps going in such an unexpected way and it just makes things you know for, for the musician in me that's that's always like my candy like i love a great constructed pop song that's catchy but i like those little moments that are yes that yes. are just you know like out of the ordinary it, there's well, and you're saying that demoshisms in just the musicality, the orchestration of it. Yeah, the way he writes. Yeah, like I'm getting more familiar with his writing. Exactly. Style too, yeah. yeah. There's just subtle, just un like, it's net. It's like at this point we're like expecting the unexpected a little bit. It's just kind yes. of his take on it. He's like, well, I could do this because that's what people would expect and then he just what he does with his voice he does with his mind through the musicality the reason i pulled the piano up real quick is someone asked if they if um we could show him what his full range was the answer is no because the keyboard in its design since the i don't know 1200s or the standard 88 key keyboard doesn't accompany <laughs> Dimash's voice. And in Wait, fact, did you actually know that? Do you, you know that did, fact? Or you, were you just throwing that number out? No, I, I felt really good to say. <laughs> okay. That was, can, some, wow. can someone Wikipedia that out there? So, so Rise of Opera was 500 years ago. It's a piano with that. But the standardized, I started with the harpsichord. I don't remember what century it was. So fact check me on that. Correct me in yes, the comments. Yes, please. But so this, the piano, or sorry, the, the uh, my camera is only taking me right to here. Um, and there's three more notes that you can't see on the piano. And then there's two more that's not on the piano that he was able to do an unforgettable day. And then another one too live. We don't know his low range exactly yet, to be honest, because as far as pure tone, I've heard of down here. Uh, in pure tone, meaning that just the vocal folds were vibrating consistently at this speed, uh, which matches this pitch. But he does use vocal fry, and that's where the fries are a little, the the folds are a little underwhelmed. So you get. You can 
kind of tune the throat with the irreg irregulation of the folds vibrating and it gives the illusion of lower notes which i include in terms of range because we use that musically right mm -hmm. so it's so you, so elizabeth's saying like the the g0 which would be uh two notes below the the, the piano um and i haven't heard that i'm not saying that that he can't because why not? <laughs> um, and the Guinness World Records, um, I know there is a lower note off the piano in terms of vocal fold vibration, but his textures and growls, it's ridiculous. But and at the same time, like, like this is fun. This is fun. The idea of like, wow, look at that range and everything else. But I'm going to tell you, range is useless without skill and artistry. It's, it's yeah. just not. It, yeah. You know, it, and that's but what he just... brings to the table is that yeah. range and the skill and artistry, which is insane. Right. Yeah, I mean, the circus tricks are so impressive and he could, fun. no doubt, he, he no doubt could have made a career based solely on that. But um, but I think his longevity and his reach, you know, just the fact that he has as many fans as he does is because he's a true artist, he's a, a true composer, you know, and he's, he's just, he does what the song needs. Yes, um, yes, and that's yes. that's what's got the lasting power because, you know, otherwise it, that comes that other stuff comes and goes. You know, it does. Yeah, it's it's like a flash. Um, yeah. Like like I have I have a record right. I have the Guinness World Record for the longest note ever held. It's the most boring note you'll ever hear. Right. It's literally a pitch. It's just held for over two minutes. Right. So that takes skill, but not artistry. Right. So for me to do, oh, no, I didn't do it there, did I? Where did I? This is what happens when I listen to Dimash. I have the illusions of grandeur. I'm just going to give an example in this octave, which I don't have access to. <laughs> no, in this note, just to hold on a note for a long time takes stability of the folds. It takes good breath control. There's like a skill involved. But the artistry in the context of, of a song and a music is what is what makes lasting effects and, and actually allows you to feel something in response. And that's what he understands really well. And in addition to that, for, so sorry, to contrast, forget, Olga, okay. thank you very much for your contribution oh, to yes. Mary as well for, for the coffee. So I want to make sure I mention you. Yes. Now, piggybacking off what you just said, so I can whistle with my hands like this. And that is. I thought you were going to do the Mission Impossible. Is that what you're going for? No, that was Are You Sleeping? Oh. <laughs> that is. And that's artistry at its finest. <laughs> that that's skill and artistry. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so yeah. So that was crazy. Oh, thank you, Akiko. If, if I'm saying your name, I'm so sorry. I'm not. Whoa! Look who just joined the chat. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Hello, John Reeves. Do you guys know who? How many here know who John Reeves is? He is a reactor on. YouTube, and do you know how we found out about John? Through you, through our subscribers, through Deers. We're like, when we started saying that we're going to go to Budapest uh, in nine weeks, right? And we're like, which was insane to be able to go there, and you guys have been supporting us, and we can't wait to meet you all uh, at the show and everything like that. People started, saying, oh, you guys should check out John's story. He, you know, same, you know, similar scenario where the deers kind of supported him and whatnot and then went into Hong Kong. I think it was just a few months ago and actually gave him a, like Dimash a rose. And apparently it's the first time Dimash ever got a rose from a dude. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's just a fun story and everything. So you're like, ah, oh, yeah. you know, let's, let's reach out to John and see if he's joined us. And so John is going to be here this Friday. Today doesn't even count for our 10 weeks countdown to Budapest. We just, the song came out i saw the picture and i'm like i have to gotta do it <laughs> so I, I, gotta do it yeah so john's gonna join us it's gonna be 10 a.m eastern standard time um this friday and we're gonna check out a song he's gonna actually join us on camera uh with us and it's a song he's already reacted to so he'll so uh he'll get to hang out with us while johnny and i hear it for the first time and we'll we'll talk about his story a little bit more so man uh, so, thanks so for stopping cool. in man so we haven't even talked to him yet. You guys know him better than we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's brand new. Um, hold on real quick. 
Johnny, was there anything else? I mean, I know we're kind of going a little bit longer than we were originally thinking, but... Um, other than the fact that it was an amazing song, I... Oh, I'm going back to this. Dude, we're going to get to see this live. Like... I... Do you think he's going to play it? I hope he plays it. He just he, he came must. out. This has to be. Yes, yes, yes. This That's has to be right. in his set. I, I would. It would be heartbreaking if it wasn't. So. So how does that work over uh, in in Hungary, um, or you know that area? Like, is is it on the radio all the time? Is that his like radio single? Oh, that's actually a really good question. Yeah, how is it? Is it being promoted out in just Kazakhstan and Russia and in, in that space? Because it's. It's not in the U.S., obviously. Um, curious if that is. Okay, honey. All right, I... Oh, real quick. Hi. My... I'm... <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold What's on. up, Aurora? Hey, everyone. This is my daughter, Aurora. You can lean into the light. <laughs> hi. Uh, she just wanted to come in and say hi. We're just finishing up. Yeah, I texted him on his phone. <laughs> I said, can I come in and say hi? And the answer is yes. Uh, she actually wanted to be here for this one, um, but I was... Too I, scary. <laughs> yeah, just from the picture, I was like, I don't know. I don't want to give you... It's a any, little scary uh, for me, too. Any nightmares, so... Shirley, thank you for the coffees very much. Also, by the way... See, I'm look at look at everyone saying hi. What hi! A, what a, well, the what a cutie's probably, probably to Johnny, but... Uh, by the way. I right don't now. think so. Oh, is she? She is. Hi, Kalea. <laughs> Aurora's friend Kalea's on. Hi. My <laughs> best friend is on right now. So say hi to Kalea. See, that's hey, why Kalea. she wants to jump on. <laughs> All right, what, get what out of here. Ray of <laughs> hey, someone did it. They said they tried. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Bye. And we're gonna we're gonna do. Um, I think we're going to try a reaction an evening with Aurora at some point where she can come in and just pick a couple songs. I think that'd be fun. Um, Always we'll a let good you time. Guys, we'll let you guys know when we're going to do that. So everyone, thank you for jumping on last minute. We're excited to do this. Um, uh, Wednesday, we're doing our reaction Wednesdays, our, our 90 minute marathons. Uh, this time with the Wish Bus, we're going to do multiple artists uh, for that. So it'll be a lot of fun. And... Friday is with special guest John Reeves. We're going to react to our another an official Dimash song because this one didn't count for our 10 week. We need to sneak in some other ones as we go. <laughs> and yeah, we got some more some more surprises coming up in our countdown, and we can't wait to to meet all of you who are going to Budapest. And if you're not, um, we're going to do our best to vlog the experience. We're going to have live streams and all sorts of stuff stuff not just the event but just hungary like we're flying into munich into germany and we're taking a train over to hungary and this is all new stuff for johnny and we want to share that experience with you guys as much as we can um mm -hmm. so we appreciate your support and all that and we'll take you on that journey as we go and i'm getting the feeling that we're going to meet up with a lot of it's a lot of these people out we here. We want to like get as person. many like selfies and photos as possible we can put it all in the vlog and all that we want to meet you all that this is, is going to be an amazing trip. It's yeah. such an amazing trip. We can't wait. So, yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. You are amazing. Thank you for staying up. And I'm going to go back and listen to the song again. Me so, too. <laughs> and, uh, and see it without the transparency. It'll be even better. Make sure yep. you do as well. All right, everyone. Thank you and see you again soon. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for the super fans and the coffee buyers and all that stuff. And just thank you all for showing up. This is so fun. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. See ya.